What is up? We are live. You can hold it down a little bit. So, uh, I don't know who all is going to join in, but if you guys remember John, this is John from when I did the Tika video. Okay, and John, you had bought a Tika T3, 65 Creedmoor, and you said you were a cherry, right? Cherry. So, since then, what's happened is, is how many rounds have you shot out of that Tika? We're about 500 now, at least. 500 rounds. And so, in less than a month, John has shot over uh, 500 rounds out of that Tika, and yesterday, what's up, guys? Um, yesterday, John actually shot in a long-range match that included pistol. Isn't that correct? It is correct. And he shot the Tika. You know, you've never shot competition before, ever, right? No. What's up, Scola? Um, yesterday, he shot it. With very minimal experience, I loaned him some gear. Uh, the gear. <laughs> what's up? I, I'm not going to be able to read the names, but if, if John reads something, I'll, I'll try to answer it. But he actually placed eight out of 18 shooters in yesterday's match. So he has really, really embraced the long range. And then uh, he actually earned this. Now, John, what is that? Is a one mile. John actually oh. shot a target at 1,760 yards using that 6.5 Creedmoor. So he earned this coin. Uh, they give these away at the Clinton House Plantation. And yeah, I mean, I can't say enough good stuff. I mean, he's been shooting that rifle for less than a month since we did the video. And we headed down here today. And I need to grow up here and try my hand at PRS match. You can read that. Yeah. Zach, all you got to do is do it, man. It's sitting there waiting for you. Just get a little bit of trigger time. It's a blast. And when John told me that he was actually going to shoot the match, now this wasn't a true PRS because it was long range with pistol. And the pistol, your target's 50 yards plus on some of them. And so we actually worked on pistol with John. I was actually going to do a video, but I didn't want to kind of hype it up because I didn't know. Uh, but yeah, he shot well with the pistol. Hello from Spain. What's up? Great performance. Always, <laughs> yeah, that's it. Um, it. It's really hard for me to read some of those comments, but uh, yeah, he did really well with that. Now today, you shot a lot of ammo today, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three boxes, four boxes. Yeah, so if you guys aren't familiar, Clinton House Plantation is located in South Carolina. It's a good ways from where we live, but I asked John if he wanted to go because they do a one-mile day, one day a month. And so it, they do charge like $75, but he's never done it before. But they also have a thousand-yard range, too. So he was able to confirm all of his distance. I mean, 1,000 yards is almost like a joke now, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> He's not going to go that after, far. After a few, some constructive criticism, let's put it that way. I, I, I was goofing up on a couple of things. Yeah, well, when you start when you start pushing out of that seven, 800-yard range, that's when things really start to get more real, I think. Yeah. Uh, wind, slight gusts of wind really start influencing what that bullet's doing. And at a mile, it's just crazy. So, you know, big kudos to John for doing that. I did take the six five, the six millimeter Creedmoor. I actually only took a box of 20 rounds just to see if those 115 burgers would do it. Um, I actually shot five rounds initially at it with four impacts at a mile. Uh, one of them, he actually said he didn't see it. It was, it was an impact on target. I actually have it on the tactic cam. So that was great footage. He wasn't seeing the magneto speed flashers going off. So... I mean, I huge. Wasn't even what I was looking for. <laughs> I also took a 5.56 five, and hit the one mile target. And the spotter that was out there was like, hit. And I was like, are you serious? Because I was shooting a 77 grain at a mile, 1760 yards. So just wanted to go live for a few minutes. You're going to see that John's got the permagrin over here. He's really enjoying it. So I uh, just wanted to stop in and say, hey, I hope everyone has a great Memorial Day weekend. Make every day a great one. Anything you want to say, John? I had a great time with Ray again. Awesome. All right. You guys get out there and shoot. We'll talk to you soon. I hate to leave with 30 viewers, but we are driving. Yeah, a mile. So we got to get out of here. Like, share, subscribe to the channel. Guys, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you soon. Have a good weekend. Yeah, that's all right. Hold on.